Yeah, yeah. We're gonna get into the other ones after this too. But um, right. Who did you uh meet in Terror Squad first, and how did that happen? Um, Fat Fat Joe had a club. He had a club in the Bronx. He was doing. He was promoting the club, and and he booked me and Mike Geronimo to perform. So me and Joe we've always been tight. But then that night, me and Pun kicked it, and. Then the next day after the show, him and Fat Joe took me to um to a restaurant. I think Jimmy's, Jimmy's Cafe, and yeah, yeah Jimmy Cafe. And um, I always used to like steak. And then Pun was like, "You ever had twin lobsters? You ain't ever had twin lobsters? You got your twin lobsters?" And that was my first time having twin lobster tails. And then we kicked it. Was it worth maybe, it? Um, it was worth it. It was, it was uh, that that. And my, I, didn't, I you know I mean I'm from the hood. I really didn't know nothing about seafood. I, all I, I, only time I had shrimp was in my egg roll. <laughs> <laughs> but, but that was amazing. And then, um, you know, and then I told him I was, you know, still doing an album, whatever Mike's doing it. And I asked him, could he do a song with me? And at that time, uh, uh Steve Rifkin, nobody wanted him. He couldn't do no features. And he, and he snuck in that day and did mine. And then when, um, you know, he told Steve Rifkin we could do it, but, my, my my second album never came out on TVT, so we never threw it out. Right. Um, what was your first impression of, of Joe? Oh, shit, me. A hustler. Just you like know, you. A, a hustler. He, he, he were, we, we, I think we're the same person in two different boroughs. Got you. Okay. Uh, and um, what was your impression of Pun? Oh, my God. That... You know, there's like there's like three people I met that I can't like. Well, I guess four. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Pun, old dirty bastard, Big L, and Sean Price. Them three people. I I just I, I don't. They love me, but the way they treated me was different from the world. So what I had with them is not how they treated others. They loved me. They they would call me. They would check on me. They was my brothers. But the first moment that you meet Pun, like, what are you thinking? You're like, yo, this guy's cool, or like, what? What do you like? Your immediate reaction? Um, well, remember, I took him to the studio, and you know, at that time, you know, oh, I'm talking about something. the night that you guys hung out, though. The night that you guys oh, hung out, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, dope, 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 dope. You know what? Because I think all the females wanted him, and he didn't give a fuck about it. Did he have so any that, songs that, out at this time? The the twin song. Both oh, the twin song. The deep forth. cover. Okay, got you. Yeah, deep yeah. cover. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but I think um, he he, he just women, women didn't excite him, and I, and I thought and I thought having fame and jewelry and money that that's what you supposed to excite was the women, and he was the, like the first person to say, "Man, fuck these bitches," and I and that mentality probably kept me a lot richer in life. Wow. So you could tell that he wasn't um, phased by the the fame of of like the of the fake fake love from the women. No, no. Only thing, only thing. He, you know, he he loved he loved Terror Squad. He he loved whatever. If his people looked it good, he looked it good. If, if Cuban or, or Sace looked it good, or Tony Sunshine, if they all looked it good, he felt good. So as long as his crew was good, he was good. Were the other members there that night that you met Pun? No, 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 no. At that point, it was just more Fat Joe bringing him along as dumb too. Got you. 